just to start off, actually, uh, a couple of weeks ago now, um, the big fight, May 2nd, was announced between uh, Freud Mayweather, someone you know really well, and Manny Pacquiao. What were your thoughts when you first uh, heard the fight was finally signed, sealed and agreed? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I, think, I think all, all boxing fans, like boxers, promoters, like everyone wanted this fight um, to happen because, um, you know, it, it's going to be it's going to be the biggest fight ever. You know, the making like making the most money and, and, and etc. And um, the best should fight the best. And um, good for boxing. It's going to get more fans into boxing. It's going to get more kids into boxing. So um, I think I think it's a good thing. You know, it's great for the sport. No, definitely. And there's a lot of people out there that are saying this uh, fight, they're glad it's happening, but they probably would have preferred it to happen uh, four or five years ago. Do, do you think it's a fight you would have liked to see happen uh, when they were a bit younger, or do you think now is the right time? Well, it, is, it is the right time, because like, they are making more money on what they would have made. So um, everything has its own time. It's, it, it, Definitely. And in terms of uh, Floyd Mayweather, um, you are part of the money team, of course. Uh, you spend a lot of time with Floyd. In terms of Manny Pacquiao, are the team seeing this as Floyd's hardest fight of his career to date? Um, not really. Floyd said it's just, it's just another opponent. You know, uh, he's like, it's just another opponent. And um, to tell you the truth, I don't think it's going to be that hard a fight, you know. I think I think Floyd would have put out boxing. I, I think I think if he had fought Cole up at the middleweight, that would have been a hard a fight. I don't I don't think that that man is going to be a hard fight. You could just look at the Chris Jerry fight to um see that man he couldn't stop him. He dropped he dropped him like mm -hmm. eight times, but he couldn't go in for the kill to stop him. So. Like Manny, oh, she isn't the Manny of five years ago, mm. you know, so, um, um, yeah, he, if Manny stopped Amir Del Cotto, but he couldn't stop Chris, Chris or Jerry, you know, it's a different beast there, so, um, I think, I think, I think the first three, four rounds, you know, um, will be, will be, will be interesting, mm. but I think after that, Floyd will just, will find out his style and whatever, and just start to outbox him. That's my personal view. And with that being said, do you think uh, we'll see it go to the judges' scorecards then, or do you think uh, Floyd will uh, finish it early? Um, well, Floyd hasn't stopped any, like anyone in years, so, um, you know, the, the smart man would go for, you know, the point victory, mm. but you never know, because a man, he jumped in with shots, and just how, like, Marquez caught him with a very good punch. You never, you never know that um, Floyd could do the same thing because Floyd's a counter puncher as well. Mm. So um, you know, um, I'm, go I'm going with the points win, but I wouldn't be surprised if you know, if it, like if Floyd stopped him. Yeah. But I, I, I don't see if, if I'm a, like as a bo boxing fan, I can't see how many wins. Mm. Cause he's not going to stop Floyd, and he's not going to outbox him. So um. I just can't see how, yeah, and he hasn't been the same since Alex stopped working with him. Alex is now working with Floyd, mm. so, um, yeah, I can't, I can't see how many wins to fight to tell you the truth. No, definitely. And, and uh, one of the things that has come out in the contract, it's been quite uh, made open, quite public, that there's not gonna, there's not a rematch clause in that contract. But if it does go to the judges' scorecards and it's quite um, close, or if it's a split decision, do you think we could see these two uh, back in the ring in a rematch somewhere down the line? And um, I guess it all, it all depends on the type of fight. 
that mm. it's going to be. If, 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 if Floyd wins too easy, then there's no need for a rematch. Mm. But if it's an entertaining fight, then yeah, you know, I'm very sure that them guys will like come, like come back again and, and do a rematch because for both unboxers, it's the most money out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I guess it all depends on the way that the fight goes and you know, so yeah, if, and if it is a close fight, then why wouldn't they do a rematch? Because it's, it's a lot of money, and that, that's why boxers arrange the sport mm. to make money. And you know, so um, yeah, we have to see. We have to see. We have to wait until like the day and see what happens to see if we'll get a rematch or not. No, definitely. And of course, uh, you're, you are part of the money team. Uh, I, I understand preparations have uh, started for uh, both uh, Floyd and Manny in their uh, respective training camps. Uh, how, how involved are you going to be in the build-up to this fight um, it, with the money team? Uh, well, I'm, I'm there every day in the gym. I'm there every day in the gym. So, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's a few of the other guys are going to fight on a few of the cars like that's coming. Mm. But um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be unboxing um, the the week of Floyd's fight. I'll fight on the 30th of April, third, like Thursday, the 30th of April. Mm. And then, so everyone is at the gym at the same time. Like we train, I train early up, up before Floyd, and then Floyd comes in around three, four, like four o'clock. And mm. then if you want to stay and watch him, you watch him. If you if you have to go, you um you go. So uh, it's just great to be able to, so yesterday I was watching him, and this is, you know, it's an important camp, because this is part of history now, mm. and um, for me, it's like if, if if I was part of Muhammad Ali's team, like, like I'm like back in the rump, the rump in the jungle camp, yeah. but that was a special camp, so if you was part of that camp, and you, like, you could talk with your grandkids about, you know, how, like, how special it was, so um, for me, you know, like when I can, like when I don't have to go to the fitness gym straight afterwards, I, I stay and watch straight. He sparred on, he sparred the first day back in camp. He always spars on the first day back, so he sparred. And, um, yes, it's, it's just good to see how hard he trains, because even a lot of, a lot of the bystanders um, were like, he's training so hard and it's mm. only day two. Because yesterday he trained, I'm pretty hard, the Monday he trained pretty hard, so I'm, yeah, Floyd comes back, like full at it, you know. So I mean, it's, it's 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 great to be able to witness this. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And uh, we've heard a lot about the ticket prices for the event itself as well, and uh, hearing some, uh, like, even up in the nosebleeds, as they call it in America, the tickets are uh, really expensive. But I'm guessing uh, you're going to be one of the lucky few to be there in the MGM uh, that night. Uh, what's it like um, knowing you're going to be there close to ringside witnessing that as well? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, you know, I mean, it's great. The last, the last fights yeah i've been on i've been on the floor surrounded by stars of you know music of movies and um yeah it's it's, it's very good that's what i'm saying um the mgm now i think i fought there twice mm. you know, i've been there maybe like six times to watch other fights and stuff so um yeah it's great to be there and to be able to witness the nine weeks of preparation and um, then to watch the fight itself, um, yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Even though it's not part of my career, mm. it's nice to know that I've been a lot. Of, like this is my third year now in Vegas, mm. so it's nice to know that Floyd, like from when the very first day that I came, he took took me in, and um, it's you know to be able to witness it and to be part of his team is a you know it's a very it's a very big thing. Cause I get to see as well. The stuff what the cameras don't get to see. Mm. Like what, like what, like what? You see on the all axis and all of that. I get to see when the camera, the cameras are off. Yeah, I'm with Floyd, so um, it's nice like that. Nice. No, definitely. Well, it's been a great pleasure speaking to you again, Ashley. Uh, best of luck with preparations for your fight and uh, enjoy uh, the build up to uh, Mayweather Pacquiao as well. Indeed. Thanks very much. All right. Take care, Ashley. Have a good night. Bye. All right, bye.